Hi, I'm Erin Theobald with Craftsman Utility Trailer. We're going to look over three 36-foot length trailers that feature Maxon BMR lift gates and go over the differences between our heavy-duty model and our standard distribution trailers. These all come equipped, these three, with the Maxon BMR lift gate. We also stock the Walco WDB lift gate. These gates all have aluminum platforms, largest platform size available, 84 by 85. These particular gates have the header kit feature at the top with that recessed dome light. So let's go take a look. Both of our trailers come with this front multifunction nose box. It's on a brake activation, so once your tractor brake is released, the dome lights will turn off inside this trailer. Right here we have a dual pole and a single pole charge line for the lift gate. This comes on every single one of our gates, whether it's a Maxon gate or a Walco gate. They will all come with this Phillips nose box at the front for a dual or single pull charge. On our heavy duty model, this approach plate right here is a 5 16 inch approach plate. What that does is just thicker material up here to prevent dishing effect in years of abuse with that truck hooking up and releasing from the trailer. One of the greatest features on our heavy duty beverage trailer is 8 inch cross member spacing full length of the trailer. The standard trailer comes on 12 inch center lines for your cross members. These are 8 inch cross member spacing full length on all of our heavy duty models. Both models of our end loaders, both the heavy duty and our standard distribution trailer, come with the Sherlock anti dock walk device. What that does, that bar will rest down instead of your airbag depleting all the way, it'll only go down as far as this bar. Prevents dock creep and so forth. Great option. Both models of trailers have the tall rubber 11R225 tires on them. It's great for inner city deliveries if you're hitting curbs and so forth. Standard trailers typically come with low profile tires. This industry leans heavy towards the tall tires. We equip all of our trailer tires with long studs so it's easy to change out aftermarket exterior wheels to aluminum. Our heavy duty model trailers come prepped for a rear column gate and what that does, utility puts this, uh, the light box mounted to the ICC bumper so you'll have extra lights here and as well in the columns. Our standard distribution trailer will not feature that option. They are not prepped for the rear column gate. Both models of our trailers come with a widening quarter inch composite roll up rear door. It's a premium door. A standard feature on all utility trailers is our stainless steel rear case. No one else in the industry provides a standard case in stainless. The utility rear buck plate area is different from all others because it's actually a structural piece. There is no flooring all the way to the back of our trailer. That's really important in a roll door where moisture gets inside of the trailer and can get underneath a steel overlay. Structural 27 inch deep steel tread plate. Both trailer models come with this stainless steel inverted angle. It's a roll-up rear door protector. When you're coming out with a forklift, it ricochets you away from your roll-up door track, which can create damage. Great option. One of the newer features we've put on our roll door trailers is this header lock hold open device. What that does is when you pull, push the door up, it locks it into place all the way back to prevent the door from sagging and hitting that bottom panel in the future. To release it, you just simply pull on the orange handle, and then you're ready to shut the door. Both models come with an oak floor with three screws per board. The scuff liner on our two different model trailers are different. This is our heavy duty model. It's a 5 8 inch thick by 13 inch tall HDPE recycled plastic. On our standard distribution trailer, it's a corrugated steel in 12 inches height. Both trailers feature two LED dome lights with a recessed switch in the rear case. That switch can be hard to find. It's located behind this track, this door track right here. It's got a little rubber boot on it. Another um, heavy duty model feature is the extra protection on the front wall. This is a 25 inch height corrugated steel protection. This is featured on the heavy duty, not on the standard. Thanks for taking the time to do a quick overview on our trailer specification differences. We look forward to talking to you guys soon.